to Twitch initially for this. Twitch.tv slash Smashamash is the URL for our Twitch channel. And we're looking at the jet streams of the Western world here to see highly incoherent jet streams, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. So first of all, a very powerful counterclockwise rotation here, indicating an upper level low pressure off the, course, off the coast of Portugal. Also extremely meridional jet stream flow characteristics here over the North Atlantic Ocean. Some backwards jet stream here. Uh, powerful counterclockwise rotation over the northern Gulf of Mexico. And some heat waves, some extreme heat. We'll show you the forecasts on that in a moment. First, we'll take a look at the surface winds of the Western world. Now that we've shown the jet stream, there are the surface winds. Powerful counterclockwise rotation there on the surface off the coast of southwestern Mexico. And let's take a look at the eastern world's surface winds. There are the surface winds of the east. Concentrated system here southeast of Japan as well. Here's the uh, jet stream scenario for the eastern world. Jet stream still blowing backwards over the western Pacific, the Philippines, and the Indian Ocean. At least the northern portion of it. Next, looking at the uh, NASA Ghost Lightning Mapper here to see a long string of lightning stretching from Lake Erie all the way to the Texas Stovepipe. And let's take a look at the real-time lightning map here from lightningmaps.org. Now we are streaming live. Give me just a moment here. I just want to make sure that the stream is good to go. And everything looks fine. Here at the Smash News Network, least busted name in news. So here's your real-time lightning map. Some significant lightning here over Eastern Europe. And some over the central U.S. once again. Hey, Tulsa, there's thunder rolling in. And if you zoom in far enough on lightningmaps.org, it will actually estimate the audible shockwave, the thunderclap. Hey, Oklahoma City, there's thunder rolling in there as well. And we'll give you some idea as to how those systems are moving here momentarily. First, pressure cells. And we're going to advance this into the European forecast for pressure tomorrow. So here's where pressure is now. And there's where we expect it to be at 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time tomorrow on June 27th. Continuing on to weather.gov, and I would note these excessive heat warnings. And they are extreme. We're going to show you some more detail into that in a moment. Also, a bunch of flood warnings here, all the way from Lake Huron to the Texas Stovepipe, right where we showed all that lightning. So check out the temperature anomaly forecast here. This is through Monday. Let's go to Monday at 12 Zulu. That's 12 Zulu right there. That, that means 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. As Eastern Daylight Time is GMT minus 5. Greenwich Mean Time minus 5. And check out the temperature anomalies that happen right here. They're looking at something like 23 degrees, and that's 23 degrees Celsius above the normal temperatures for that time of year, especially western Washington and Oregon. Also a heat wave in the northeast in the New England states, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine, seeing around that same time about 14 degrees Celsius above normal, while there's a massive cold snap stretching way down into Mexico, where they're seeing 16 degrees below normal in a huge swath of the country here west of the Mississippi. So multiple cold snaps about to happen in the center of the country while we get anomalously hot temperatures 
in the northeast and northwest. So the worst of it is expected to be on Monday, forecasting things like over 111 degrees in Washington. Be prepared for that. Stay hydrated. Reduce your amount of activity as your life may depend on it. Next, playing the animation here for the U.S. Doppler radar map. Very strong series of storms there. Crossing Oklahoma, about to move into Arkansas. Crossing Missouri, moving into Illinois and Indiana. And the strongest portions are in actually in Texas and Oklahoma and Missouri. And just give me a minute to refresh here, folks. Again, we are streaming live. Got to bring up the water vapor in the cloud map. So there's what's going on in the cloud layer. And here's what's going on in the water vapor. And you can see a little bit of compression happening here between this between this higher pressure system and this higher pressure system, sandwiching this moisture in, creating massive pressure gradients and directing it up to the northeast. Again, there's the cloud layer, and there's the U.S. Doppler radar map. And thanks for tuning in to today's meteorology segment. A now regular feature of the Smash News Network, least busted name and news. I've been your host, Dan, a.k.a. Smash-a-Mash. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you enjoy the content.